Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here and... Brad. Brad and Man. the big coffee stain right here. See, big old coffee stain on the shirt. What because I decided carrying in my coffee, I like to wear it. It's a new thing. It's a okay. new fashion. Do you not know I, this? No, but it was completely... Animal. You know, because I want to be up to fashion with stuff. It's just sick. Yeah. You see, it's just sick when it's cool. It's oh, just okay. awesome. You see, it's just sick. So... So, if I'm fat and sick, that means that's a good thing, right? Yeah, you're awesome. You're cool. You're with okay. it. You're okay. happening. Okay. <laughs> so, if you're fat, old, and sick, you're... Yeah! So, never mind. Oh, you just no. go away. No, I, I need you to hand me that painting and let me do my work here. Please. I'm going to knock you out. Come on, next Love week. him. <laughs> He's being horrible today, okay? You guys have no idea how horrible him being. Sweet and innocent. Yeah, well, you woke up fighting with people. No. Well, yeah, you had to. Not me. Mm. Fighting with Walgreens. Who used to be our pharmacy. Hmm. Now we have switched our pharmacy needs over to another pharmacy. I will get into that later. Probably in a separate video. Mm -hmm. Okay, this this what I'm here today to show you guys is a whole bunch of paintings. I just got done putting more prices on on painting uh, artwork that was on my artwork account on Facebook. Um, so you can either go over there and look on the Teresa and Heidi page, and the link is below, or you can um, email me to see a painting you like, and you know we'll go from there. I take PayPal only or an Amazon online gift card. Those are the two only forms of payment I take. I don't do checks and I don't do money orders. I, I, you can send check uh, cash at your own risk, but I don't really suggest it. But that's up to you. Um, so yeah, free shipping within the lower uh, for in the 48 continuous states. Um, if you're in Hawaii or Alaska, it'll be more, and if you're in Canada, etc., it'll be more, and I'm not responsible for any other duty taxes or anything charged. So, I have a lot of artwork to show you, so I'm going to go through this rather quickly. So, number one we have, and this is my biggest one, it's a 24 by 30, it's not a 20 by 30, and it is, I don't have a title for it, but it's, it's, let's see. See, that's the top of it, and then it goes all the way down. Yep, a lot of detail, a lot of art, you know, a lot of hours spent on this one. This one is $135. So, there's that one. Now, I have to show you a bunch of other ones. So, I'm gonna just grab a pile and show you and then so that way you can start putting stuff away. This one is a small 5x7. It's, a, it's an abstract. You can use it any which way you want. It is uh, $25 um, and its name is Jade. So that's, um, these are all acrylic unless I state otherwise. I do have one watercolor in the mix. This, these are sold as a set. I do have some glitter in them, but you probably can't see the glitter unless I tilt this. I mean, I guess I could move my light a little bit. There you can see them, the glitter. And no, that's not smoke you're seeing. That's just my um, oil, my oil, oil diffuser. But anyway, um, <coughs> these both have heavy-duty magnets on the back. Um, they're great for, you know, a unique way to... Um, Lay some art on your um, uh, file cabinet or on your uh, fridge or wherever. Um, and it, how much was it? I can't remember. I don't know what I charged for these. I think it was, oh, it was $20 for the set. I can remember now. It was $20 for the set. So, there you go. Those do not have a title. This next one is a set of four. <coughs> Same size. I, I didn't say I know those were four inch squares. And this is a set of the four inch squares. Um, 
these are 40. Um, let me see. There you go. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's that one, that one, that one. I need to turn this light a little bit. There we go. You guys can see this stuff. So there's this one. This one. This one. And this one. These are great. I will put another shield coat on them. You can use them as coasters if you want. Um, let me know if that's what you're going to do, and I'll put a couple more coats on it. You could ask me to put magnets on them. I'll do that. Um, but, yeah, there is, there's a neat... Actually, I was wrong. That set of um, uh, paintings, the, the magnets, they're 15. These are 25. I couldn't remember what, what they were. So, anyway, there's that. And if you want to have, like, the magnets, I would charge you another dollar for the magnet. Because they do cost. So, um, let me show you some more stuff. What is this stuff? Okay. This is not, this is called Heartbeat. Another um, abstract. An 8-inch uh, diameter. Just $30. There's that. This is untitled. Another abstract. 8 inch diameter. $30. I think that's a set of four. Yes. Now I have a set of four. These are five by sevens. This is why I got mixed up on the price on those other ones. This set is $40. That's what it is. So you have this one. These all go together. And then this one, and they've all got that glitter, and it's 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 not gonna come off. It's in in the top coat. So, and then you have this one that goes with it. And that's on the side there, and then you have this one that goes with it. So those are each five by seven, and for all of them, they're sold as a set of four. It is forty dollars. This is. I think that's what it is. Hang on a second. I gotta check out. Because now I'm a little confused. I don't want to be telling you guys the wrong prices. Well, let me run over here to my page. And... Um... Make sure I'm telling you guys the right prices. I don't want to be telling you guys the wrong prices. Come on, switch. <laughs> I don't know how you keep up with everything. Well, usually I do pretty good, but, you know, I've done so much today that, yeah. um, yeah. And I get kind of confused. Come on. I just got to look up prices on a few of these things. Come on. Of course, that's when Facebook is being real, or, yeah, it's being really slow. She looks really stupid with that hat on backwards and stuff. Who? That blonde cackler on ridiculousness. Oh. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Taking his time today. Oh, because I'm, I'm, I'm doing the wrong thing. I don't know what I'm doing, but <laughs> evidently Facebook does. Okay, let's go back and look. I don't want to be telling you guys the wrong prices on this stuff. Let's look at those circular ones. There's a little four, little tiny four ones. Probably have to leave this one up to look at stuff that I have so much listed there. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on and be my friend. Come on. Come on. Is 
touch this pole earlier. Okay, those the two magnet ones were ten dollars for the set of two. And then let me see. Um where that other one is. Computer's action so it's old like it's the one that has big out painting. <laughs> you know what? Uh-huh. I actually pulled, pulled a few paints I didn't particularly like that I didn't think really were ready to be shown. So I pulled them because I did not, not care for them. Come on. Brother. There we go. I know. Let's see. Okay, yeah, the set of four... Um, of the little four inch squares, uh, which were the second set I showed you, they are $20 for the set of four. You know. And then let's see. So this set of four here, which is all the, um, um, I call them like, um, uh, what do you call this underneath? Coral? All the coral and stuff underneath. Let's see. What I'm charging on those, it's a set of four, they're five by seven each. Oh, that's $75 free shipping. Because, yeah, they're a bigger painting. Of course. That's what, okay, I'm not going crazy yet. So that is right. And, and reading those four inch ones are so discounted. Number one, they're four inch squares. And I've had them a while and I want to get rid of them. And so, yeah. So that's what those are. And let me. Look and see if I'm right on these. Like I said, I'm sorry that you list so many and you end up just wow. They are forty dollars. It's five by seven. They are abstract acrylic. You can hang them anyway. It's a nice little thing you could hang, you know, in your office or in a bathroom. I have paintings I've done. That I hang in a bathroom and because I seal them up so well, they're just fine. Um, they've been there over a year and we live in, as you guys know, in Florida. So, set it to $40. And I have a bunch more. And I may have to refer. Oh, no, I do. Okay, this one is called Trickle. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see, yeah, you can see there, again, I use some um, topping. I actually use some um, uh, varnish to add a little bit of glitter in just certain areas. Um, and then I did the rest. Uh, but this is $25, the 5x7. Um, cute little guy. See all the... You can't see the glitter this close up because I just don't have enough reflective light. But you see, well, you do see some of it in a detail. But let's pull it back so you can see the glitter. There's so, that one. This one is discounted because I want to get rid of it. It is um, not titled. It's a 5 by 7 And it is $22. And it is metallic um, reds and, and silver with black and you can turn it any which way you want. This is I thought that was a set of two, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. What are you okay? Okay, yeah it is. Okay, this is a set of three. They do all go together. Again it's kind of the under the water coral theme that I'm really digging right now. And um I can pull my lights down a little bit more. Maybe that will help. My head fell down. I hate it when it happens. But anyway, as you see, much, much closer. There's that one. There's this one. Again, this would go nice in a bedroom or a bathroom. Whatever room you have that 
This is, these are purple mainly with a little bit of blue and black and silver and white. So for the whole set, it's sixty dollars. Each one is five by seven. This is a set of two, and this is um, forty. What is it? Forty-five dollars for the set of two. These are um, some metallic uh, reds and golds with white. And so that's the way it goes. Let me show you this one up closer. Like that. And then this one up closer. So, yep, the set of two is $45. Let's see? This is another 8 inch round acrylic. Um, and this one is um, $30. 8 inch diameter. It's all different colors. You got some uh, neons in there too. Yeah. Let's see. This one is another one. It's really brightly colored. Got some neon colors in it. Um, I got a lot of good cell action on this one. It is, is an 8x10 called Divide and it is $40. This one is not titled, and it is a 8x10, and a lot of details and stuff, and it is $35. This is an 8x10, is it? No, it's a 9x12. 9x12, and it is pinks, um, maroon, uh, kind of a peach. Uh, orange, peachy orange in there with silver, and it is called Flowing, and it is $40. All of this is free shipping within the lower 48 date. This one is a watercolor. Um, I haven't done watercolor in a long time, so yeah, this is a watercolor. It is a approximately a 10 by 7 um and it's a little shorter than that a little bit shorter it's like um a 9.5 and a 6.5 or so i don't know or maybe i rounded it yeah i think you rounded it 7 by 10. yeah it's a little bit bigger than that but you can cut a little bit off or something um it is not titled and it is 30 dollars for this acrylic so, and I have it in an envelope to protect it. So, let's see. I have another one. This one is called Inferno. And it is a 9 by 12 And it is $50. Um, as you can see, the flame's coming up out of kind of a molten scene. That happened to be one of a lot of volcano action going on in the United States. And I watched the news and then, yeah. This one is called Nothing. I haven't titled it. <laughs> it's a 9 by 12 And as you can see, it's a lot of beautiful florals. I did some string poles on it and then embellished it a whole lot over a acrylic pour. And it is $40. Don't you have anything you need to be doing? Are you invading in my space? Why are you invading in my space, mister? Because I can't. Are you supposed to be doing something? Yes, but Even I can't. Well, I can't get through because you're doing a video and, and you're right. Okay, can't you do the other one in the bedroom? Well, I want to get this one fixed. Oh, okay. You should see. We're doing foam board around the, I'll show you when I get done over the, around the air conditioners. It looks ever so much better than what we had. <laughs> So anyway, this one, let me see. This one is an abstract. As you can see, I named it Amoeba. Is it Amoeba or am am Amoeba? Uh, Ami okay, Amoeba. Okay, yeah. Amoeba. And it is a 10 by 20 acrylic. And you can see there's lots of detail through this. It's acrylic pour that I made into a marine animal. And it is $80. That would be quite a conversational piece. Yes, it would. Wherever you home. This one I love. 
I'm quite proud of this one. It is called Lightning Strike. This is a 16 by 20. I'll bring it in closer so you can see more of the details and stuff. Go over this way. Um, you'll see multiple, multiple lightning and stuff. Um, and this one is called Lightning Strike. And it is a hundred and five dollars. I'm surprised you're letting that one go. Well, I need to make some money, pay some bills. <laughs> I tell myself I can always make a, a new one, which I can. Mm -hmm. You know, I can paint something. This one is called Tropical Bay, and I um, this is I use a little, some brighter colors to kind of um, bring the light of uh, the natural light of the sunshine through on the clouds and water and stuff. And it is a, uh, let me see, it's a 14 by 18, and it's $80. Okay. This one I really love, and this one I did kind of struggle with if I was going to let it go or not. This one is called Sandy Oasis. This one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> he makes money, honey. I know. Sandy Oasis, this is a 16 by 20, um, and it is $115. There's a lot of work went into that. So, let me know if you're interested in that. I keep hoping somebody will think they have an office or something they'd like to put some of these in. So, this one is not titled, this is an acrylic pour. Um, you could hang it any way you want. I personally like it, like it this way. Or you could turn it this way if you want. It is, um, this is one of the few that's on stretch canvas. It is 16 by 20. Um, and this is, I guess I didn't put, I'm going to have to look that up real quick. I guess I didn't put, I don't know why I didn't put how much it was. I guess maybe I assumed I knew, but I don't know. Huh. Let me see, holy moly, so much. Not in there, though. And I know I'm missing a few pieces, but, you know, if you can imagine that after a while, they all kind of start running around the muck. Right, honey? Yeah. I don't know how you keep it straight. Um, well, normally I do. Yeah. But now I can find this one. Where yeah. are you? And also, I'm trying not to look. Okay, I know, because you'll freak out. Yeah, I know. I have a hard time letting go. He doesn't of like to, stuff. yeah. And, okay, here it is. It's no big deal for me. I can always paint another one. This is $100. It's on a stretch canvas and stuff. So, yeah, that's $100. Let me close that down. Yeah, so this is $100. This is Eruption, and I remember I was, oh, it's a little, oh, not dusty, that's, that's how I did it, okay, I thought it was dusty, no, that's me. <laughs> um, this is Eruption, oh, I know why I did it that way, because the ash and fallout from a volcano. Yeah. Um, and you also, you can see what it is, it's a 16 by 20, I had to look, and it is $100. Let me know if that interests you. Remember, I was doing that right around my birthday. Remember that. Yep. Oh, this one is a, a fun little abstract called Blown in the Wind. And it's all these different feathers that I did. You can hang it any which way you like. And it is a 16 by 20, and it is $100 as well. This one is called Crazy Days, and I love this painting because what you can't see is it is raised up. All of these these uh, wiggles here are all raised up as, always, as a thicker paint that I, I uh, kind of did like a cake decorator would on. So, um, and then I went in and, and shaded and stuff. But yeah, this is called Crazy Days. It is $75, and it is a 12 by 16.
still not looking. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> this one is a 16 by 20. Yeah. And it is called um, uh, 239 because I did not title it. <laughs> I don't title a lot of my acrylics, my uh, abstract. So this is, um, yeah, a 16 by 20. It's $100. And it's lots of fun, lots of bright colors in there. Let me show you a little bit close up of some detail on this stuff. Because I love to do detail. This is called Petite Floral. Because, let me see. Yeah, oh, this is where you go. Because of the Petite Floral work right here. I did, it, I did an acrylic pour within a drag. And then I did some chain work, and I, then I created some stems for flowers, and then I hand painted in flowers. So that one is $100. This is a 14 by 8 piece. This one is called Woodstock, because it just reminds me of kind of the hippie days. You know, the bright neon uh, colors and stuff, tie-dye and all that. Uh, doesn't it, honey? Mm -hmm. So it is a 14 by 18 and it is a hundred dollars as well. So that is called Woodstock. This one is called Jellyfishes. That's cool. Because that's what it is. It's an acrylic pour with a drag and then I did some uh, um, string uh, poles on it. And then I don't know what I did up here. I believe I did some palette work creating jellyfish and then the head painted in the rest. And this is a hundred dollars. That one always remind, reminded me of those uh, aquariums mm -hmm. there in Las Vegas. Yeah, that's where yeah. I got the idea from. Okay. This is called Kaleidoscope. Look at all the bright um, colors. All the many colors that kind of remind me of when you look through a kaleidoscope lens. Uh, you know, as you were a kid and stuff, those hand crank ones that we all loved. This is a hundred dollars. This is a fourteen by eighteen. And I'm just about done. It sure is a lot easier showing them than it is lifting them all. Yeah. You know, my favorite. This is called Tropical Dream. This is a eleven by fourteen, and it is eighty dollars. I think I know. I missed one. La, da, da. Or a couple. I missed a couple here. Aren't you guys lucky? <laughs> this is a seven and a half by five and a half wooden piece. Um, it is called Flower Power, and it is thirty dollars. Here's all the details and stuff. Well, there's that little guy, and then. I think it's just this, and then I'm done. Um, this is a set of two. Let's see. It goes like this. See? You can hang them together and have it continue on, or else you can hang them apart, or like this, you know, or however you want. But this is this one. This one here is a nine by twelve, and it's called By the Pale Moon. This is for the this complete set. This is a 5 by 7 And it is $60 for the set. I always really like those. Did you? You've done a few of them. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Where it's, it's you know. Yeah. I like it where you do two or three that all, you know, and, that, and it's very popular right now. Is it? Yeah. Oh. oh. So. So anyway, that's all I have. I have just a few more pieces that um, I will show, but I'm going to show them probably in a week or so. I have about four or five pieces I'm painting on right now. I got up late last night. I couldn't sleep. Brad and I are taking turns, I guess. Where, yeah, he can't sleep, so he's up. Then I get up, because then I can't sleep, and he goes back to bed, and I get up. And so I got up late last night. Spent a couple hours in painting. Sure felt good. It felt so good to be in there painting. I just, I haven't been doing that lately. And I need to. And I'm going to. Um, 
you know, it wasn't anything that Brad was stopping me from or anything. You know, he's great about that. We're really great about that. We both are the type of people that we need to have our own alone time, even though we love each other dearly and most things we do together. But then we both like a little bit of just me time where you don't talk to anybody and you don't have to answer to anybody and, and you just kind of chill. And, you know, we'll even do that in the same room. I'll say, well, I'm going to be, you know, with the headphones and, and like earlier when I was listing all this stuff, because it's not my favorite thing to list this stuff. That's the business end of this, which I'm not fond of, but it's a necessary evil. But, um, uh, you know, we're really great about that, but I must start doing that more often because I sure enjoyed it. And there's something about it being like in the dead of night, the house is quiet, the animals are all sucked up to him then, you know, and it's just so nice, you know. It just was really nice, so I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, so uh, I'll have him help me haul this stuff. Now we can put this whole tote of painting all back in the tote and then put it back in the art room, okay. you know. Uh, I had to go through that. I do not have my Etsy sorted out. So if you're looking on my Etsy, I don't have the new stuff. And frankly, I think I'm probably going to shut my Etsy down for a while. I haven't sold anything on Etsy in so long. Why am I paying? I'm paying every, every month. And it's not their fault. Or is it? I don't know. But I don't need to keep paying 10 to $15 a month when I'm not selling anything. But I think I'm just going to stick with doing my, um, showing my artwork here and maybe showing it on Facebook and have my Facebook thing and see how that goes for a while. So, uh, you know, and it's just too many, you know, you got your artwork. I'm looking at different avenues I might be able to show my artwork in and stuff. So, um, that's what's going on there. So, I want to quickly tell you guys, because I don't want to do a whole separate video, because... I'm getting hungry, and I still want to do some baking. I want to spend some time with the bread man. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you about Walgreens, people. <laughs> they lost a very good customer, or two very good customers today. Okay, so last week we picked up my Trajail pins for my insulin. They messed it up. They've been messing up our prescriptions now for the last three months every time we get prescriptions. And, of course, it's never their fault. Last time, they charged me, and, and they didn't, see, they got real sneaky about, they used to tell you what each prescription cost when you go through the drive through Then they got to the point where they just give you a total. Well, they gave me a total, and because it's kind of in the newer part of the year, and we changed insurance plans, I wasn't sure when they gave me a total for, oh, I think it was $96. That I thought, okay, you know, that's a lot of my prescriptions. So, yeah, it might have cost that. No, okay. I get home and, see, my doctor prescribes this estrogen cream for the lady bits. Both to help so you don't get UTIs near as much. Because she said you get so dry down there. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry if it's too much TMI. But anyway, she pres prescribes this. Last time we got it, I think it was like $12 or something like that. Well, this time, we didn't know till we got home, $75, and that's with insurance. Of course, they won't take it back, you know, once it leaves their, their hands, they won't take it back. And this is only for two months. So, I I'm end up stuck with, stuck with that, and that's when Brad was still working. Well, so we go last week, and... We get prescriptions, and you know, we have to argue with them that my Trajeo is free, and they say it's $30, and then, of course, in the end, yeah, you're right. Then it's kind of like, get the fuck out of our drive through go home. Get home, it's one pin instead of my standard three. It comes in a box, an unopened box, as three pins in that box. I've been getting this for well over a year. No, they give me one pin, so Brad calls them up, and they're like, well, that's because... She couldn't have a refill until the 18th. And he's like, but you guys are the ones that called us and said she needed a refill. 
Well, come in the 18th and we'll give you the two. Just bring in the receipt and everything and we'll, we'll just give you the two, two. Okay, great. We didn't go in yesterday. We were kind of waiting because I don't know if I have pink eye or not. Um, it already feels better, but we're waiting to see if my doctor is going to call in a prescription for eye drops because I've been treating my eyes for a couple months now off and on and just not getting any better. I, you know, I've never had been Kai, but, you know. So, we waited, and she hadn't. Well, she had this morning, so I said, okay, we're going to go to Walgreens. Get this stuff. But wait! <laughs> I have text alert on my phone. Right? Uh, for Walgreens. They alert me when I need. That's how I know when they tell me I need refills. That's how they tell me when a, when a prescription's been filled and how much it'll cost and or what the status is, they tell me that these eye drops that you need for pink eye are not in stock and um, uh, basically they don't know when they might get them and to call the pharmacy if I need this today. Do you think? I mean, they know it's for pink eye. I mean, you, do you think I just would like to wait a week or so? So Brad calls because... He doesn't want me to talk to people because I don't have, <clears throat> trust me, you don't want me to have to dick with a bunch of people sometimes because he's much better with dealing with people. So. Sometimes your people skills are a little on the rough side. Yeah, well, because I do well until you, you keep pushing it and stuff, and then I'm going to tell you. Yeah, anyway. So Brad calls them, and he argues with them. Get this. Okay, he calls them, and they basically say, well, we don't know when we'll get it. It's been back or forever, like we're the dirty SOBs that prescribed it. Then, then they want, they, they tell Brad, he could call around to different pharmacies in town to see who might have it, and then have them um, get the prescription from Walgreens. Really? Any other pharmacy I have ever dealt with has done where they call around to find if they don't have something in stock, if another pharmacy has it. They don't usually make the customer call around. So Brad had to call around all over. We found one place that did have it. They were super nice. We couldn't get a hold of Walmart pharmacy at all. Um, you know, and um, Winn-Dixie was really nice, but they didn't have it. So... Talk to them and stuff. I mean, it cost eighteen dollars a little thing of eye drops. But anyway, uh, you know, it's antibiotic. It's antibiotic eye drops. But um, so then we go. He we go to run errands and stuff, and um, go to the Walgreens, go in and get the two missing pins, and oh Lord help me, the fucking cunt monkey. <laughs> Sorry, people, but this is what Brad doesn't let me deal with people. Fucking cunt monkey, pharmacy text. It seems like she's always on the rag. She does. She answers the fucking phone like you dirty I'm SOBs. How dare you, aunt, you know, ring this phone? She tells Brad, nope, it's going to be $10. He's like, no, it's not going to be $10. It's going to be free. It's always free. Look up the number, you know, and they're like, nope, nope, you're going to get it today. What, just the two missing pins? Mm -hmm. It's going to be $10. You can come tomorrow. It'll be free. And Brad said, well, they told me the 18th. Well, I don't know why they told you the 18th. Like, really? And a little punk-ass fucking pharmacy manager... Is standing right around the corner now. You think he'll step up and 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 discuss this with Brad? Brad doesn't go in and cuss like I would. Okay, <laughs> can't help it. I've been watching Dead Work, and it's fucking this and fucking that, and yeah. Anyway, no, he wouldn't step up and talk to Brad. So Brad comes out him mad. <laughs> That's the way he walked out the attitude. Then we go to our new pharmacy, and then we have them switch all the prescriptions over. So Walgreens is losing a whole buttload of money from us a month. 
because, yeah. But, you know, they used to be great, but it's like, I do not know what the hell has gone on, but, you know, they fuck up every prescription anymore, you know. Well, they fuck you through the drive-thru, okay? So, this is why Brad don't let me go in, because, I, like I said, I don't have a lot of tolerance for people's bullshit. Do I, honey? And I'm usually no. a little too honest with my reaction. <laughs> and stuff, uh, so... Yeah. And you are less than diplomatic sometimes. I can't help it. That's how I am. That's why you I know, know, honey. You ask me something, I'm going to tell you how I feel, huh? Mm -hmm. I try not to hurt your feelings, but you know. Nope. And, uh... So, yeah. We have a new pharmacy. Because, holy shit... I know it's not that big a problem, but man, I can bitch about it. I watched some dude's video the other day on this YouTube who was bitching about a quarter pounder, and he was throwing the lettuce against his car window. He was so mad, and he said, this is the third time, and I thought, if this dude, I wanted to put first world problems, but I didn't. And I thought, well, this dude can make a whole big rant video about a, a <laughs> double pounder or whatever the hell it is. Quarter pounder, isn't it? No, I think so. Okay. Then I can bitch about farm. I mean, you know, your medicine's kind of important. I mean, how do you know I didn't have some little kid that had pink eye that was just dying? Well, I'm like a little kid sometimes. And, you know, my damn eye's been hurting for two months. I mean, I sit around with... This I close a lot when I'm reading or watching videos and stuff because, and I mean, I irrigate it all the time. I put eye drops in it all the time. Sometimes it'll get better for a couple days. See, I never had pink eye before. Never, ever, ever had pink eye before. And I don't rub, I'm real careful not to rub like this eye and this eye or anything. Not to cross contaminate, you know, the eyes. Uh, but I guess that might be what I have. I figure... That should help whatever the hell it is. Because um, yesterday when we called in, they kind of act like they'd like to have me come in. I'm like, I'm not coming in for a $50 copay to get some stuff for a pink eye now, okay? I would have been willing to snap her picture and send an email wife, huh. but, you know, because I'm like, I know what pink eye looks like. I've worked in daycares and had daycares and stuff, so, you know, but, uh, yeah. And then, I'm talking this morning, and my loving husband says to me, basically, it was like, shut your yap and go get dressed. What did you say to me? It wasn't that. No, but it was something similar to that. No, That's I, what I you was, meant. I was a hell of a lot more diplomatic than that. But it was kind of like, quit talking and go get dressed, or some crap like that. Now, mind you be, since he... Well, it's all his fault that I stayed up so late because if him had been in bed like he was supposed to be and stuff, I could have slept through the night probably, but no. Because he got up, then I thought he was up, and then I don't know, I always feel like we got to conversate some, and then we got to eat something which we shouldn't be eating, and then I'm up. I'm, I'm jacked up, and I'm wide awake. I can talk to him for 10 minutes or so, and when he can't sleep, and he... He just can hardly stay awake to hear another word I say. So, <laughs> I always tell him that. I'm like, if you can't sleep, just wake me up. I'll talk to you for a little bit. You'll, you'll go to sleep. And he will. So, but it's his fault I was up. And so, mind you me, we didn't, I didn't get up till like 11.30 or 11. I don't know what time it was. All I know is there's some damn happy dogs because I got up. And... You know, and so I'm trying to talk to him and stuff, and he's just kind of like, you know, be quiet and get dressed. Hurt my feelings. Not just because it took a half hour for me to decide whether or not we're taking the dog. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm good. Huh? You know, half of this, I'm just kind of playing around. I wouldn't have called a woman a cunt monkey to her face. No. No. And I wouldn't have even cussed at her. But I would have told her a lot of things that, you know, Brad's better at handling people than I am. I'm behind the scenes. He's, you know, he's, yeah, he's like the pimp. And I'm like the art, the art. I'm like, I'm not a whore, but like the art 
worker. Escort. The art escort. I'm staying out of this one. <laughs> Why? Because. Anyway. This is one of those particular conversations. Because you want me to bake. He wants me to make some banana nut muffins, and he wants me to make um, uh, sugar-free um, chocolate chip bar cookies. What he wants me to do. But I'm not doing that till after I eat now, because now it's like 7 or 5.47. PM. Oh, it rained last night. We had tornado warnings, and I was kind of scared there for a while when I did come to bed, and I shut off light finally at 6 a.m. And but was it before that that I was scared? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was all a blur. Yeah, because it didn't start really thundering until after seven. Yeah, but it was really, really, really windy, and for here it's basically mm -hmm. and. You know, we had tornado warnings and stuff, and of course, you know, we're about jackasses about that anyway, because we're like, okay, yeah, there's a tornado warning, not leaving my dog. See, if the Lord takes me, the Lord takes me. That's about what we do. We're bad about it. Right, honey? So, anyway, I hope that everybody has a great day. I hope that you all are going to have a happy, 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 fabtabulous Easter day. We gotta get out that turk or the ham. We don't have turk. We gotta get out the ham. We're just gonna have a small little dinner, us, right? right? So I wanted to show you guys real quick. Uh, sorry, honey. See the air conditioner right there on the wall, and that foam cord, foam board around it. Looks ever so much better than. It did with uh, um, the styrofoam stuffed all around it. <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> and now we present you with the letter C. C is for cookies. It's good enough for me. Hey! C is for cookies. It's good enough for me. Okay, fine, fine. I'm leaving you now. Okay, well, me and my coffee stain shirt here, and it goes all the way down, are going to leave you now so you can rejoin your your other programs you were watching. And we hope you have a happy Easter. Remember that I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so much. And I think you guys are awesome. And say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.